Hello everyone and welcome to a new Ross questions and answers video. In the video of today we're going to be reviewing two questions that are quite related. The first one is this one here which asks how to check that two topics are synced so that they are uh, published at the same time. Yeah, And here we have another question which is how to use approximate time synchronizer in Python. Yeah, The approximate time synchronizer is a a utility provided by this message filters library. Here you have it. This message filters library basically provides uh, some filters in order to to check to filter incoming messages in some way. Yeah. So it receives messages and it only lets them pass if a condition if a condition of a filter is met. In this case, in this case the approximate time synchronizer filter what does is to check that two the two messages of the topics are published in the uh, same timestamp approximately okay and if this condition is met it lets them pass through the filter okay then how we can use this approximate time synchronizer in python let's do a very very quick and easy example i'm going to use rds as always, there we are. So let's open a public project, for instance, the rookie. There we are. Let's wait a few seconds until the environment loads. Here we have it. Okay, let's now select here the turtle book robot. There we are. Okay, there we are. Excellent. So let's now create here a, a package in our workspace. So I'm going to create a package which I'm going to call know, test sync. There we are. Let's open here the IDE. Okay, here we have our package. So now I'm going to create a new folder. And inside here I'm going to create a Python file which I'm going to call sync code.py. Excellent. Now in here I'm going to copy a code I have already made earlier, which is very very simple. Here we have it. Okay, so basically as you can see I am importing uh, Rospy, I'm importing here a message filters library, and also I'm importing here a couple of messages for image and camera info, which are the ones I'm going to filter. Okay, then Basically, okay, yeah, I start a node, of course. Then here I define a callback, yes, which I am going to just print got an image and camera info, okay. This is the callback that later I'm going to refer to it, you will see. Then basically I create two subscribers, okay, from the message filters library. One subscriber to the camera RGB image raw topic and the other one for the camera info topic okay then here I basically define the filter yes here message filters approximate time synchronizer then I enter I write here the first subscriber the second subscriber which is this one I match soup and camera soup here we have them now I define here a queue size and finally I define a slope which will be the error that can be between the the times of the two messages okay it they don't have to be exactly at the same time but I include a little bit of error okay which is this slope then basically if these conditions are met I will call my got image callback, which is this one I defined it at the beginning of the code, okay? Finally, I have a Rospine spin so that it keeps 
listening to, to these topics. Okay? Very, very easy, as you can see. So, let's test our code. Okay, so I'm going to execute here. Let's make this a little bit bigger for a moment. Rush round. Let's just source our workspace. Okay. Then Rush one test sync sync code dot by. There we are. So first of all, let's make sure that our topics are being published. Let's open here another web shell. So the topics I wanna filter are camera RGB image row and camera RGB camera info. So let's do here a ROS topic list and yeah, here they are. Camera RGB camera info and camera RGB image row. Okay, great. So yeah, let's execute our code and see if it works properly. There we are. And there it is. It is entering the callback. Got an image and camera info. Yeah, this is the print which I have inside my callback. Okay, so yeah, it's working well. As you can see, it's uh, pretty simple, pretty simple code. And well, I hope this video has helped you to see how to use this approximate time synchronizer. And well, if you have liked the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.